Tina Swelch. I'm the MICU pharmacist and um, I was asked to um, demonstrate for y'all how to mix TPA at bedside when we have an ischemic stroke or a, a code stroke called in the unit. Um, so most of the time this happens down in the emergency room but we get these patients in MI as well and so first thing I wanted to point out is when or if you see an order for TPA for an ischemic stroke first call the pharmacy and make sure that they're not already making it so that we don't duplicate the orders being made and um, this is a very expensive drug so we don't want to waste anything and then also make sure there's two orders there for you a bolus order and a drip order um, so with that being said we'll just do like a little case um, and pretend like you're in the med room pulling this out and what you would do so um, we're going to go with a 56 year old male who's 170 pounds or 77.3 kilos and a code stroke is called. So when a code stroke is called um, and they've determined it's an ischemic stroke with no hemorrhage, hemorrhaging, um, you have a three hour window to give TPA. So time is of the essence so that's why we need to all be aware of how to mix this and what to do. Um, the normal dosing for these patients if they're less than 100 kilos it's a loading dose of 0 0.09 milligrams per kilo and you give that bolus over a minute so it's an IV push and then you do 0 0.8 milligrams per kilo as a continuous infusion over 60 minutes. Um, if they're over 100 uh, kilos you're going to do a loading dose of 9 milligrams which is your bolus or your IV push and then an 81 milligram continuous infusion over 60 minutes. So if they're over 100 kilos the dose is a, is a standard dose. Um, so when you go to your Pixis, um, you will find this box in your Pixis under TPA. You'll search TPA or it may already be there. And I've already put a dosing card, which will make things a lot easier for you. You will not have to calculate anything on this dosing card. So um, first what you will do, since you know your weight of your patients, 170 kilos. One side of the card is less than 155 pounds. The other side of the card is greater than 156 pounds. So we know they're 170 pounds, excuse me, I think I misspoke earlier. So um, you'll pull up to match to 170 pounds on your card in the red box. You can see it closer to you. Um, and then you'll see that the total dose this patient is going to get is 69.6 milligrams or mils because once you mix the solution, it's a one milligram per mil concentrated solution. So you'll see that that's your total dose you're going to give. You're going to waste discard quantity, is how it's labeled, 30.4 cc's or mils. And then you will pull up a bolus of 7 mils and your drip, which will be the remaining volume in your bottle, will have 62.6 .6 mils and that's actually what you will hang over the hour. So this is how you will mix it. Your box will look like this. You'll have a diluent, which is sterile water for injection, and you will have um, the actual TPA, which will be powder. You'll pull them out. These are my demo bottles, so they are already been used. Um, and you'll also notice inside there's the package insert that has all the information you need. But there's also a little piece of paper. If the dosing card is not there for some reason, this also gives you how to mix and how to dose as well. And there's a for an ischemic stroke that you can refer to. So in the box you'll find your diluent and the drug. And then your transfer device. So using a septic technique like we always do, we flip off the caps, we take our alcohol swab, we're gonna clean our vials. Okay, so you have your diluent, which is a sterile water for injection. You're going to leave that on the table or on wherever you're mixing the counter. You take the cap off the transfer device, stick it into the middle of the vial. Then take the cap off the other side of the transfer device, put the drug as far as you can, as close as you can, on top, pushing down, make sure it's secure. Then you're going to invert it so that the sterile water goes into the powder TPA. And this will mix rather quickly and we don't want to shake it. Um, it'll go into solution pretty fast, but swirl it. Do not shake it. And then once you're done, take off the sterile water for injection. There may be about a half a cc left inside this vial, 
but that's normal. But if there's more than a half a cc, kind of just wobble around till you get it all the way through. Take it off, then you're going to take your transfer device off, then you will take your syringe and the first thing you want to do is take out your discard quantity, the amount you're going to waste. So 30.4 cc's for this patient. When you stick your needle in to the TPA vial now, try to stick it away from where you put the transfer device because it's a bigger hole than your needle so you'll leak out drug if you don't. Um, there's a little, you'll be able to see it closer when you actually see these up close. Uh, Katie and Jason will be doing some roving CEs for y'all. But there's a little keyhole that I like to say to put your needle into that hole. And then you do not need to inject air into these vials. There's no vacuum present, so don't inject any air. And then pull out your waste, which is the 30.4 cc. So you pull that out, pretend like I did, and then you'll waste it. Then go ahead and get yourself a needle for a bolus dose which for this patient will be seven mils. You pull up your seven mils, you can go ahead and give it to the nurse or um, go ahead and take it to the patient. You give that seven mils over a minute, then you actually take what's remaining is their hour infusion volume that's left. You actually take this vial and you'll hang it, hit, hook it up to your pump, you'll scan the vial. And that's all that you have to do. But I wanted to comment, if this all came up from pharmacy, we will have a bolus dose already pulled up for you, labeled with the patient's label. Then you also have this vial again, labeled with the patient's label. Scan the vial for both of those. The patient's label will not allow you to scan. Scan the vial and put in the dose that you're giving. Um, make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did, but if you have any questions, please come ask me. And um, if I'm around on the unit when something like this is going on, please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Thanks.